As my work has grown throughout the years, I've tried to stick to styles. I've tried to break away from them. And uh, I think really it's the heart that gets put into each piece that kind of binds them all together cohesively. It just feels so natural that if I'm not sculpting, oh, I'm just thinking about sculpting. Probably around 2016 is when the YouTube channel started to peak a little bit. That was due to the Scarecrow video. I saved up all this money to buy this camera just so I could shoot the process of this. And uh, it's about a three minute video, but it just shows all of the tiny details that go into this piece that you might not see from just looking at a picture of it. The real joy comes from the process. This is why I love capturing how everything is made. I'm always trying to change the way I film these pieces. The newest ones are all stop motion, sort of a pixelation approach where I am painting it, taking a picture, painting a little bit more, taking another picture, and then making it into a smooth animation. It's sort of a DIY approach to it where you could actually see how these pieces are being made. And hopefully that inspires younger artists or artists that are just starting out. You know, we did signings all around. Uh, we went to China to do a signing and I just couldn't believe that people actually knew this character. And I'm just amazed that by posting one video, I could get all these opportunities, all these people looking at this one piece. I just think it's helpful to share the information. A lot of the times what stops someone from making a great piece is that the lack of information. It's all so doable. I think artists uh, really lucked out because we're at such a pivotal point in life right now where never in the history of time have we had something where the art community can discuss pieces and look at work in real time and you can connect with just about anybody in the world. It's an inspiring thing and opportunities come to you through it. Nowadays, everyone is looking at Instagram. They're looking at YouTube for inspiration and uh, it's your job as an artist to give it to them. No one's gonna come knocking at your door to buy your work if they haven't seen it. I'd like to just keep creating new pieces and really develop this world that surrounds every character I've created. I think my emotional state really impacts whatever I'm doing. And sometimes I, I won't know what the piece is until it's done. I'll look at it and reflect on myself. Hey, what you working on there, Jimbo? Oh, it's a little artist working on his late creation. You put so much personal references into each piece and not really sure how it's gonna be perceived. And then I'll get stopped on the subway or something or at Starbucks and people will say that they appreciate my stuff and like hearing that is just, it really reminds me that what I'm doing has some merit to it. My name is Jim McKenzie and this is SVA Creators.